Hi. So, this is a channeled message that I received yesterday, and I wasn't sure exactly what I was supposed to do with it. And I wasn't feeling up to getting, you know, sitting in front of the computer and doing a visual. So I decided to see if I could um, use, you know, share this in this way. And I'm still very tired, but I have to say that I feel a little better than I've felt in a long time. And I've felt this not only for myself, but for whoever, whomever else may, this may resonate with. So, basically bottom line is there's someone who has been involved in a relationship, a situation that's been going on for a long time, and it may even be a twin flame connection. As I think is that exactly what it is, or a soulmate connection, or at least that was the impression that both parties had. And it seems that recently, over the last, maybe since the summer, any time since then, that there have been opportunities to reconnect with your twin. Um, be it, you know, just to have uh, dinner or to have a, you know, intimate moment or whatever it is, it's always some type of blockage. So, the, the, it seems that there's this blockage may have uh, been perceived initially, I guess, as spiritual blockage, like as if someone was doing some type of black magic or something to you, you both, but it turns out that that may not be the case for some of you. Now, this is not for everybody, this is for a few people, but this it is something that was brought to my attention spirit brought to my attention yesterday and it caused me to pause and think about my connection so i decided to you know share it because this is not about me or just me or my connection this is about the collective and to talk about these type of experiences and what it means for the journey altogether. So, in any, any respect, respect, this is the message here, that some of you are involved in a situation where the twin, your partner, may have some um, secrets about their sexuality they're not really trusting you to share it with you because they're afraid of rejection um, so for example if you're a straight woman and you're um, you assumed and you've always been under the impression from all that you've known about your twin that your twin who is male is a heterosexual male. All right, so cool runnings. But let's say that you found out now, after all the time that you have been in this relationship, doing your work, doing your lessons, getting your spiritual gifts, you know, ascending. Of course, you, as a feminine energy, may be further along on the journey than the masculine energy. But, at any rate, they're quite aware of the journey, and they're quite aware of the fact that you are looking forward to a romantic partnership, as well as doing the work that it is for you to do. 
because at the end of the day, it's about the work, right? So, getting back to that example. So, for example, you're a, a, a straight woman in a relationship with a straight man, and you're a twin flame, and you may have known each other for a long time, or maybe a rekindling of a romantic relationship from the past, or just someone that you feel really comfortable with. And, you know, like I said, both of you have come to the conclusion that you're twin flames. What Spirit is saying is that what the f- one of the partners isn't aware, okay, so back into example, the female partner who's straight isn't aware that her partner is bisexual and that is part of the reason for the lack of intimacy because they know that at this point in the journey they either have to step up they feel let's say they feel that they either have to step up to the plate and tell the truth or come up with some kind of an excuse because for some reason they're afraid to share. They're afraid to share because they are fearing that they won't be accepted. They're afraid to share because they feel that they, that the, um, their partner will feel betrayed. And they don't want that. Besides the fact they really don't want their, um, themselves to be exposed. This is something that they really may not have um, ever shared with anybody. And these are, you know, there are ways to do these things without, you know, being around a lot of people who know you personally. You know, they're, they're underground things and there's, you know, secretive whatever is, you know, this is no shade on any gay person at all, not at all, I'm just saying that this was the message, and I am sharing it, so, so, your partner feels afraid to be forthcoming with this information, because they fear, not just your reaction, you know, they don't, not just anger or, you know, that you're going to stop seeing them or you're going to, you know, go ballistic. But they're afraid that it'll stop your journey. That it'll stop the journey for the both of you together. And that it might even stop your journey. And they don't want to be responsible for that. So, that's the reason that they've been so secretive, and that may be the reason why they're avoiding contact. They may have come up with some, you know, oh, I want to be, you know, let's be celibate, you know, that type of thing. And you can go for that if that's what you want to do. But whatever the reason is that they are giving you for this, for some of you, understand that that's not the real reason. The real reason is that there's a sexual appetite that they have that they don't want to share, and at the same time, they don't want to lose you because they still want to be with you. They want you to be an option and not an option of you and a bunch of other women. Well, I don't know. Maybe you know, whatever goes on, I don't know, but they want you to be who you are to them in their lives, and still be able to do this thing, and they don't know if that's going to be allowed, so that's another reason they're afraid, because they haven't gotten to the place where they feel comfortable even talking to their own spirit about this, you know, to talk to their own ego and their own guide. So, 
it's a lot for whoever this is pertaining to. And it's important, you know, because part of this journey, the main reason for it is to change societal perspectives on what is acceptable or what a relationship or marriage or, you know, those kind of relationships, what do they really look like? So, <clears throat> this may be part of that lesson for you. Boy, I hope this tapes. <laughs> but this might be part of that lesson for you and for them, as well as the rest of us, that there is agape love, right? Brother, brotherly love, which is part of the things that we are demonstrating through this twin flame journey, right? With love of our God, right? Love of ourselves, love of our family, love of our country, and love of our siblings, and love of our fellow human being, right? Brotherly love, sisterly love. So, Part of this experience has been to experience all those types of loves being tested and being taught lessons. So, don't look at it as a defeat because it's not at all. Because there's a reason for this connection. There's a reason for this lesson for you and for your twin. So, For those of you who are not, um, this doesn't have anything to do with their relationship, carry on. (laughs) I'm very happy for you. But there's someone, some percentage, some small percentage of um, feminines who are involved in relationships with masculines who are heterosexual and they assuming that their relationship is a heterosexual relationship. <clears throat> this was just a, um, I guess, a spiritual heads up that that's not the case. But that even if it's not the case, spirit is saying don't give up. So that this person will still be your friend and your partner. And they still will continue on your journey with you. This may not be your romantic, sexual, intimate partner. And that may be part of the lesson also. That may be part of the journey also. To be able to have this work a different way. All right? With no judgments. Okay? So I don't know. I don't know. If this, you know, resonates with you, wonderful. If it doesn't, more wonderful. (laughs) But it's for somebody, so. Um, Don't be angry, feminine. And don't be afraid, masculine, if this is you. I guess this even could be turned the other way. It actually could, I guess. Whatever it is, one partner had no idea, or you may have had an inkling, but you weren't sure of what you were being shown. Hmm. And you may have thought that it was about competition, but it's really not about competition. It's about coming to terms The masculine coming to terms with themselves. Because this is something that they've kept secret a long time. Right? So it's about coming to terms with the truth. And it may be also about you coming to terms with the truth, feminine. And about how... How focused you are on the journey and what was the journey really about for you and understanding that 
it's not always going to look the way we think it's going to look, right? But it's still going to be what we need spiritually. It's still going to bring us growth spiritually. So, I think... I think that's pretty much was the gist of it. I didn't even write it down, but it stayed with me because it was something that I had to think about myself, of course. So, I brought it to my masculine's attention and there was no response. So I don't know if that's because he's mad or because he's exposed. But whatever it is, I have to trust my intuition. So if I'm going to take the message, it's not just going to be for me to share with everyone else. It's for me to look at it for myself, just like when I do the readings, right? I, I look at them later, and there are things that are pertaining to my own life sometimes. Or at least people around me, definitely. So this is no different. This came to me, and I'm sharing it with you. And I shared it with my masculine, and you know, whatever. We'll see. But what it did for me, it didn't... It changed my, my, my expectation, definitely. But it didn't change my journey going forward. And it didn't change my love for him at all. It's just not going to be what I thought it was going to be. And... That's, I'll miss that, definitely. Because there's a part of, of me that needs that kind of energy exchange for myself, you know, for my work. I know that. That's part of my sexuality is part of my, that's what it's like. my sexuality is one of my gifts. I know that, definitely. So. I'm sure that if this is the case and this is my situation going forward that there's going to be a way for me to continue my journey with some some way for me to continue the journey and still be able to utilize all of my gifts. Let's just put it like that. So um, we'll see how it goes. Now, maybe, you know, he, you know, somehow or another your masculine can prove that that's not his, you know, that that wasn't meant for you and that's not about your relationship. Okay, then good. Excellent. But for those of us, those of you, those of us who it turns out that 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 this hits home for your masculine still embrace him and embrace the journey and give thanks and gratitude for the clarity because that's really all you can do I mean you could be mad I guess you could be angry but how spiritual is that right so I guess this is about priorities, huh? So we'll... Uh, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else that can be said. But I did want to share this. So, Divine Feminine. Something to consider something to be aware of, right? And I uh, hope that 
You don't have to comment. You don't have to say anything. You could give it a like if it resonates. Even if it resonates later, come back and give it a like. But you don't have to, you know, make a comment if you're not comfortable with it. But um, if it resonates, just give it a like. Because this is something that is serious and is something that maybe needs to be discussed, right? So, I'll be talking to you guys soon. Love you. And uh, be sweet. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Bye.